Now, the holy month of Ramadan is marked by social and religious gatherings where Muslim families and friends unite to break the fast together. Many Muslims increase their attendance at the mosque during the month and also congregate for longer prayers at night. Uh, but that has not happened this time around because of the COVID-19. Uh, my colleague from the uh, Bono region, Anasa Bet, has been speaking to a Muslim cleric and brought us this report. observe the thing to be a spiritual thing in the first place, it's spiritual. But God telling us about Ramadan, he said, Kutiba alaykum usuyamu kima kutiba ala ladhina min qabalikum. Oh, you who believe, that is the believers of the Muhammad tradition. Kutiba alaykum usuyamu kima kutiba ala ladhina min qabalikum. Fasting has been made mandatory or compulsory on you, just as it was made for those before you. It's for you to be pious. That is the main reason for Ramadan. So you fast to be pious. And when you are fasting, you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ramadan is the ninth and the most holy month on the Islamic calendar. Muslims go without food and drinks during daylight for the entire month. But it's the month of Ramadan all about abstinence from food and water. Spiritually, we observe a lot during the month of Ramadan. It's not just about the abstinence from water and then food, even the way you talk. Then morally, it teaches us a lot too, how to live our lives. So if you fast for the month of Ramadan, you observe it. After the month, you are expected to observe your life throughout the 11 months, just as you have practiced in Ramadan. Now beyond going without food and water, Muslims spend a lot of time praying and reading the Holy Quran. And during the last 10 days of the month, they spend between 12 and 3 a.m. standing on their feet in prayer. But with a ban on religious gatherings, this important religious obligation has been heavily affected. Sheikh Abdul Hanan tells me how. You know, Islam, in most cases, we like congregations. Anytime we are doing things in congregation, we have like the zeal. You get the encouragement to go on with whatever you are doing. But with this year, you do it alone. As a person, I pray alone in the house. The people you lead, you pray, you finish, they ask questions, you explain. Now there's no opportunity for that. So you just pray with your wife and your kids. And that is all. That is a major change. So we are losing a lot. Well, this period is a period for us to harvest a lot. For most of the leadership of the Muslim community, how do they reach to the masses in the absence of congregations? Sheikh Khalid Omar Farouk is the Deputy Municipal Chief Imam of Ahlus Sunnah Jamaa in Techima. Ramadan, I feel any Ramadan I come with Biano. Actually, actually, any day, man, or I say, any day, man, actually, actually, no. Just like the previous Ramadan, we are still reaching out to the people with regards to Islamic teachings. The only difference is that this year, we only do so either on radio or via Facebook Live without facing the congregation. Sheikh Hanan, however, called on Muslims to strive in observing the Tajud prayers even in small numbers at home and seek from the Almighty God to protect us from the COVID-19 pandemic. Let us do the possible best we can to observe the prayer in our homes, in our small numbers. You, your kids, your wife, just observe it. And then pray after your prayer, pray to Allah that this calamity, Allah should take it away from us or he should provide us with the antidotes quickly. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Techiman. 
Time to take a break here on Newsdex. On we return, we'll hear from the Aviation Ministry. The banking claims it diverted the contract awarded to LCB Worldwide for a disinfection exercise of the airports. Darrell Quell has details after this break.